Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Pumps pick up mud from the suction tank and circulate the mud down hole, out the bit, and back to the surface. Although rigs usually have two mud pumps, and sometimes three or four, normally they use only one at a time. The others are mainly used as backup in case one fails. Sometimes, however, the rig crew may compound the pumps. That is, they may use two, three, or four pumps at the same time to move large volumes of mud when required. Rigs use one of two types of mud pumps. Triplex pumps or duplex pumps. Triplex pumps have three pistons that move back and forth in liners. Duplex pumps have two pistons that move back and forth in liners. Triplexes have many advantages. They weigh 30% less than a duplex of equal horsepower or kilowatts. The lighter weight parts are easier to handle and therefore easier to maintain. The other advantages include They cost less to operate. Their fluid end is more accessible. And they discharge mud more smoothly. That is, a triplex's output doesn't surge as much as a duplex. One of the most important advantages of triplex over duplex pumps is that they can move large volumes of mud at the higher pressures required for modern deep hole drilling. Triplex pumps are gradually phasing out duplex units. In a triplex pump, the pistons discharge mud only when they move forward in the liner. Then, when they move back, they draw in mud on the same side of the piston. Because of this, they are also called single acting. Single acting triplex pumps pump mud at relatively high speeds. Input horsepower ranges from 220 to 2200, from 164 to 1641 kilowatts. Large pumps can pump over 1100 gallons per minute, over 4000 liters per minute. Some big pumps have a maximum rated working pressure of over 7,000 PSI, over 50,000 kilopascals, with 5-inch 127mm liners. Here's a schematic of a triplex pump. It has three pistons, each moving in its own liner. It also has three intake valves, and three discharge valves. It also has a pulsation dampener in the discharge line. Look at the piston at left. It has just completed pushing mud out of the liner and through the open discharge valve. The piston is at its maximum point of forward travel. The other two pistons are at other positions in their travel, also pumping mud. But right now, concentrate on the left one to understand how the pump works. The left piston has completed its backstroke, drawing in mud through the open intake valve. 
As the piston moved back, it lifted the intake valve off its seat and drew mud in. A strong spring holds the discharge valve closed. The left piston has moved forward, pushing mud out through the now open discharge valve. A strong spring holds the intake valve closed. The left piston has completed its forward stroke, the full length of the liner, completely discharging the mud from it. All three pistons work together to keep a continuous flow of mud coming into and out of the pump. Crew members can change the liners and pistons. Not only can they replace worn out ones, but they can also install different sizes. Generally, they use large liners and pistons when the pump needs to move large volumes of mud at relatively low pressure. They use small liners and pistons when the pump needs to move smaller volumes of mud at relatively high pressure. You can control the position of the piston with your mouse to see how the triplex pump operates.